Good morning, Lions Large. I'm feeling much better today. Like I woke up feeling sort of weak and nauseous and like, ugh, I kind of want to go back to bed. <laughs> but as the day has progressed, I've just, you know, I've gotten a lot better. I do think we are going to try to let him go swimming again in his little splash pool. I was going to go for a walk to, right now instead of putting him in the pool first, but it's super warm. So, plus I downloaded that Pokemon Go thing and uh, there's some Pokestops at the park across the street and I need to go really bad. I need to get my Pokemon on. <laughs> and the funny thing about this is, is that I have never been into Pokemon. I was never a Pokemon kid when I was little. I've never even like really played a video game. So, um... This is like something completely new for me. I have no idea what any of these animals are. The only thing I know is that I caught a Charmander in my bedroom yesterday. <laughs> we are out here having some fun. I didn't put his swim trunks on because it's we're home. He just needs a swim diaper. And he's actually enjoying it a little bit more. I put toys in it this time. I didn't really think about it last time, but he is he's having a little bit more fun. Except he keeps putting his toys out on the porch. Nope, nope. And the pool. You gotta stay in the pool. Cause it gets dirty. <laughs> Look at these rolls. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Are you swimming? Sort of hope you guys still work perfectly because Jameson just threw you on the floor. And no, it wasn't my fault at all. It was totally his. I didn't leave you within reach of a 10 month old. Robert, can you take this? Yes. So that dad can empty our trash. <laughs> my dad has poison ivy. So he, Jameson, um, he usually holds Jameson for a little bit every day. And he hasn't been able to do that in a couple days. So uh, Jameson's a little mad. Look at this perfect curl from when Jameson, he went swimming earlier, you know. And when his hair dried, I didn't comb it or anything. So there's just this perfect little curl on top of his head. Look at that. He has two spirals though. So like instead of just the one in the back, they're like two and they join, like where they yeah, join. Yeah, he has a double crown. Where they join is where that hair is pushing up. And it's kind of cute. Mama is laying on his ABC racer. <laughs> and he is not happy about it. Or do you want this? You don't want to share with Al? <laughs> you don't want to share? <laughs> he is taking it back. That's so mean. That hurts mommy's feelings. You need to share it with mama. Yeah, I just put my head right here. Hey, be nice to mama. Be nice. Are you taking it back? Are you taking it back? There you get, you did it yourself. But James, I want to I want this. I want it. Now, from here on out, if he continues with this lack of ability to share, we will discipline him. <laughs> but right now. <laughs> but right now, being the first time that we've discovered this, it's still super cute. You have a rude awakening coming, coming named Finnegan. See, now you are no longer interested, but I bet when Mama lays on it again, you'll want it back. Mm. Ah. <sighs> oh, Mama, why? <laughs> why? Did you... Just because I was getting out does not mean you can have it. It's still mine, Mama. I'm just... oh, are you giving it to me? No, I just need to turn around for leverage. <laughs> That's exactly what he's doing. That's mine now. You didn't want it. Oh, his diaper is way off. I know we're a little bit overdue on this, but we are getting ready to film Sarah's bump date. And we've actually got a pretty cool little... uh. We've actually got a pretty cool little backdrop this time. And uh, 
we're kind of excited about it. So I've got the tripod set up. We're going to use the, the countdown. And she's going to be sitting on her birth ball because that is going to be a very important tool. Sarah just got done filming your bump tape. It's going to wake up the baby and knock over the board. Oh, but we had to have fun. So, are, are you practicing being assertive as a mother? I already am a mother. I think I'm just grumpy. I'm talking about being assertive, though. Like, Actually, do you want to talk about Jameson getting in trouble today? What did he do? He threw our camera. Oh, yeah. And it's not just that he threw the camera. It's that when Sarah's like, no, 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 you don't. He thinks it's funny. Like, Sarah got upset. <laughs> And it's not like we spanked him or anything. He's a baby. No. We left the camera in his... I just said, no, we don't do that. And he just got so excited. He yeah. thinks that my mad face is funny. And I've even tried on like five different mad faces since he's been born. And he all he thinks all of them are funny. He does it with me too. If we're trying to be serious or if we're trying to give him negative attention, he just laughs. There is one thing that works. And I don't know why it works because he's 10 months old and he's never been spanked. And I'm not really... Like, I believe that spanking... I'm sure that he will be spanked at some point in his life. But I'm not a big spanking type person. Like, yeah. I don't... I was spanked growing up. I'm fine. But I don't want to spank my baby and let my kid, I should say. Unless I absolutely have to. But... If he's doing something wrong, and I don't know why this works because he's never had it done before, so he doesn't really know what it means, and I guess maybe it's just the tone of our voices or something, but if he's doing something and I say no, he ignores it. Jameson, he ignores it, but I go, okay, I'm going to bust your butt. He stops like that. Like, on so a dime. Sits straight, like a proper, like, I was not doing anything wrong. I need to get it's it on like camera, but every time I do it, it's just like heat of the moment, and like, you know, I don't have the camera on me. Like I said, our intention is never to actually spank him. I mean, unless, you know, he's doing something that, you know, that's the only method. But it's funny. It really is. It really is. Because he'll be... He really does. He just, like... And he, like, does his arms like this. He's like, don't spank me. Don't spank me. It's so weird. He's it's so weird. He's never been spanked. Like, he doesn't even know what it means. I mean, the only time he's ever been, like, even slightly struck is, like, if he's grabbing something dangerous, I'll, like, tap his hand. Which he doesn't care. No. But. Like, he'll try to pull. Like, we have under our television, we've got a power strip with a blinking light, which he can't really, you know, get to easily. But when he is over there, he'll try to reach back there and pull those cords. And we'll say, no, nothing. No, nothing. And then, you know, eventually, okay, I'm going to bust your butt. It wasn't doing anything. It is so cute. I'm going to spook the baby. I don't, I, it, it's super cute. You just gotta watch. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I hope I didn't scare you. But it's fun to watch you move. It's also very reassuring. We love you. And I'm getting stretch marks again, Robert. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Are they the old ones? I think those are new. Or the old ones are getting red. I think that might be what it is. I think the old ones are just getting stretched again. I unashamedly hate my stretch marks. I don't. But I'm not ashamed of them either. Like, it's not... Like, I'm not afraid for people to see my stretch marks because they're there. But I'm also not like, yeah, I'm a mom, and they tell a story because uh, I'm I just... that way. I'm, I'm not, I like, you know, when I see them, it's like that's a story. That's, you know, that's a significant, like almost tattoo. You know, telling the story of, you know, the old ones, Jameson's, the new ones, Finnegan's part. However, and I mean, I don't think ones... like women should be ashamed of their stretch marks. I just don't like. I just I don't feel like a connection to them. I'm just like, oh, they're there. I don't hate them, but I don't. I don't like. Ugh. I would prefer not to have them. Jameson's, you know, for the most part, faded away. Except for on my sides. Let me see if you can see this. The ones on my side are very much there. And the ones on my belly were not there hardly. I had maybe like six on my belly. But when I when they do a C-section, they stick this funnel thing in your 
incision. It's it's not it's it's it's, it's like this thing that it's it's, 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 it's it's like a funnel, and then when they stick it in, it's it it opens everything, and um, it gave me stretch marks like all the way down. If you get my drift, guys, we're gonna end the vlog. But we can't do that without doing subscriber shout out. It's like the third time we've done that tonight. We have like five outtakes of that, to be honest. Yeah. <sighs> we, we tried a few different things. Maybe we'll do them tomorrow. But they didn't work out. So we're just going to do it like we usually do. But yeah, where we look at the camera and we talk to you guys. Tonight's subscriber shout out goes to Burp 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 the Minecraftian. I believe that's how that you is see? pronounced. The Minecraftian, yep. I'm smart. The Minecraftian says, I watched your, your three latest vlogs and I really enjoyed them. Jameson is adorable and you two are great. Y'all just got a new subscriber. Well, that is awesome. So thank, thank you, you for subscribing. And, you know, thank you for letting us know how great we are. I know that comes off as, like, really, you know, conceited and a little bit arrogant. But sometimes we actually question it. Like, are we really that good? Do people, you know... Do people find us interesting? Now, we know we've got, you know, quite a few faithful subscribers and commenters that we really enjoy talking to. But sometimes you see, like, other people's channels grow super fast, and you sit there and think, well, what are we doing wrong? We did get some negative feedback on Robert's Instagram today saying that we needed to edit our thumbnails. And I just wanted to, like, touch base with you guys and see if you guys agreed with that. Because, you know, any feedback is honestly appreciated, even if it's sort of rude but um we don't edit our thumbnails we just choose a snapshot and that's that's what we do and if we were going to start editing what kind of thumbnails would you like would you like um do you want like do you want text do you want big bold titles stuff like that like what would you want out of a thumbnail like when when you decide to click on somebody's video what draws you into that video what 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 about the thumbnail draws you into it or if you like the way we're doing it, just let us know. Give us some feedback on the thumbnail issue. Yeah. But that is going to be all for tonight. I'm sorry it was sort of a lazy day. I am going Pokemon hunting tomorrow. We will go Pokemon hunting tomorrow. I have not installed it yet, but uh, it sounds like super fun. And everybody, all of my friends, and even you know people that I just you know follow on the internet, they're all posting on Instagram you know, where they're finding their Pokemon. So far, I just have a Charmander and three Pokeballs. <laughs> Is that, are you going to be okay over there? <laughs> Sorry, that's what he said. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, I knew you went somewhere wrong with it. <laughs> oh, But yeah, that is it for our video today. So if you liked it, give us a thumbs up, subscribe <laughs> to our channel, follow us on social media. <laughs> I have two thumbs. You don't. You know why? Because you're holding a camera. Ah, I like your thinking. I think you actually win tonight. I can't argue with that logic. But, yeah, like I said, follow us on social media and leave a comment. Maybe we'll shout you out tomorrow. Bye! Bye. <laughs>